How are you? Uh, thank you, and good morning, good afternoon. We're glad that you uh, joined us on your lunch break. So in today's edition for MVP University, it, we're going to deal with a, a hot topic that's been coming up to MVP, and it's often asked about by our partners and our clients, which is search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is the process of affecting the visibility of your website or web page in search engines. Uh, it is the unpaid results. So we're not really talking about the pay per click. We're off. We're talking about what's often referred to as the natural or organic results. So what we're going to cover today is what you need to know about search engine optimization, why your business needs SEO the opportunities that search engine optimization creates for your business, and what to do about it, how to go about it, where do you start. Uh, who are the presenters? My name is Kevin Kirby, and I've been the introduction for all of our webinar series here for MVP University. With you. I'm sorry, if anybody put us on hold, anybody put us on hold, everybody. So, uh, I've been in sales and in consulting here for just over six years at MVP, and I've worked with uh, we're into the hundreds of, of dental and medical practices on their network, their consultation, and uh, I'm going to have to drop off whoever put us on hold so we can hear it. Because of the personal attention given every caller, you may experience right, a brief delay. Please Let's remain on the line. Here's this. Oh, I dropped that caller. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find them. while waiting and assure you that assistance is just a moment okay sorry about that so yes my name is Kevin Kirby and I'd be happy to help any of you out with any of your questions moving forward uh, the subject subject matter expert here is Ikram Massabini the owner of MVP and he's going to be going through the presentation CEO 15 years of experience of IT experience we're probably closer to 20 now uh, author of the book, Computers Should Just Work, HIPAA consultant, certified IT security consultant, multiple cred credentials following Ikram around with him as, as he helps consult our partners as well. Uh, and then finally, at the end of the presentation, we're going to have a subject matter expert, Angelina Arnone from MVP's team, go through a, a search engine optimization tutorial or a demo with you on how the portal would work and how it would work for you. So I'm going to turn it over to Ikram now, and we'll get, we'll get rolling. Thank you again, everybody, and we hope you enjoy and learn a little something today. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Kevin, for this warm welcome. Uh, we are going to have Angelina on later to do a demo. Uh, she's going to show you how the portal works, and she's going to explain to you guys how, um, how, uh, how we measure results. So, but first, we're going to talk about what search engine optimization is. Uh, search engine optimization is a marketing discipline focused on growing your visibility organically through search results. As you know, uh, most people nowadays, if they're looking for any service, if they have a question, if they want to do something, they use the web and do searches. Uh, searches are growing by 20% a year. Google is dominating that market. If you see the little uh, graph that we have going on right there, or the little chart that we have going on, Google owns 80% of the all search markets which is a huge number. So Google, we have to do whatever they basically say we have to do. Um, so they guide uh, search results and they guide SEO. Uh, so we try to stay uh, in, in tune with what Google and what Google uh, requires it to be. SEO encompasses both technical and creative elements. It's not just on the technical side. Your content and your content in the website matter quite a bit. That helps improve ranking. Uh, there are many aspects of SEO. We're going to get into them from the words on your web page to ways other sites link to you. Sometimes SEO is simply a matter of making sure your site is structured in a way that search engines can understand it, uh, which, is, which is key to know and, and understand. Uh, so let's talk about how search engine operates. So search engine has two major functions. One is called crawling and indexing. And two, it is uh, 
through providing answers for the people that had clicked on that specific uh, uh, that clicked on that specific link or that specific search result. So what Google does is uh, when you do a search, it indexes all the web pages onto the Internet. And that information actually goes onto a huge data center that Google owns. And that way it allows the spiders to, or the crawlers that Google built through their search engine technology to be able to read your websites quickly and get the best results for the users. It's, for Google, it's all about the best possible results for the end users so that the users feel that they are getting and continue to use Google the, the answers that they're looking for. Uh, so that's something to, that's important, something to, to pay attention to. Um, so how do people use uh, Google in general? How do people uh, use and interact with search engines? They do three things on them. One is they do. It's, tra it's a transactional query. I want to do something buy a plane ticket or listen to a song, something specific. The second way they interact is to know informational queries. I need information such as the name of a band or best restaurants in uh, Buffalo or New York City or whatever it may be. And the last way they use it is how to go, which is basically a navigation query. I want to go to a particular site. I want to go to Facebook. I want to go to uh, the home page of the NFL. They go somewhere specific. So that's the three ways people that open up any search engines, uh, use it. It's important to know that. So how do people interact with the search engines? Well, they interact with it. If you look at the graph that we have here, this is where people's eye end up being when they first see a search result. This is where they look. They don't look anywhere else on the page, if you will. They look there. So it's important to know uh, what the users because that's what is important here. They are doing searches, are looking. And I'm sure you guys are agreeing with all this because that's how I use it and that's how most people use search engines. You know what they tell you, uh, where can you hide a body? It's on Google's second page. Uh, so we want to be on the first page, that's for sure. But how are we going to get there? What's going to differentiate you with the millions of people out there? Uh, and what does it? It really is the capability of doing SEO and fresh content because browser look for fresh content. So in other words, if you copy uh, an article that you liked and you put that on your web page, that actually hurts you more because you, it, it's, a, it's a content that's just copied. All your content has to be new for you to rank higher. Uh, so that's something that we're going to talk about more in detail. Um, so why search engine marketing is necessary? So an important aspect of search engine optimization is making your website easy for both users and search engine robots to understand. So when we design or look at your website, we got to do a website analysis to make sure that it's easy to understand, not only by the users, but also by all search engines out there. Although search engines have become a lot very sophisticated and they, they, are, they try to mirror uh, people's thought, but they're not... Uh, they still can't understand a web page the same way a human can. So it's important to know. So one of the first things we always recommend is do a website survey, if you will, to do a website analysis to see where you stand. We actually can put, and we'll show you that later, your web page against the competition's web page, and you see, we show you how you rank and why you rank lower or higher. Uh, so SEO helps the engine figures out uh, what each web page, web page is about and how it may be useful for the users. And if it understands that you're going to get ranked higher. So uh, why is search engine marketing uh, why is search engine marketing is necessary? Uh, constant changing SEO. So websites compete for attention and placement in search engines. Really, that's what's going on. And those with the knowledge and experience to improve their website's ranking will receive the benefits of increased traffic and visibility. Uh, so when Search marketing began in the mid-1990s. Manual submissions, meta tags, you guys maybe have heard of that. That's what all old web design would look for. Do you have meta tags, uh, which is our words, our keywords that are built into your website, and key stuffings were all regular parts of and tactics necessary to rank well. Around 2004, link bombing uh, with anchor text 
which basically the more links you have towards your website, the better you ranked onto Google uh, that introduced. And the construction of interlinking farms of websites could be leveraged for traffic. But things in 2011 changed one more time. Social media marketing and vertical search inclusion are now mainstream methods for conducting search engine optimization. The future is uncertain really. It all depends on how Google and how the, 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 they always improve their process to try to find the best answer for the questions being asked. And people are now using Google to ask it questions. It's not no longer um, give me the name of this person or this, of this restaurant. It's a question, who did, uh, who, who's the best player in the NFL? Uh, and Google actually take that information, understand the question and search all the sites that they have to, to get, try to get you that results right away. So as they improve their process, your search engine optimization uh, marketing platform overall needs to, to be in touch with that. So that's, so that's what you need to, to, to be aware of. Because we're all competing, all the websites are competing to be ranked higher. Um, so keyword searches, it's not always about getting visitors to your site but it's about getting the right kind of visitors to your site. So even the best estimates of value fall flat against the hands-on process of optimizing and cal calculating ROI. If you're gonna invest any money in search engine optimization, you need to see an ROI back from it. So really, you need to, if you're gonna, if you do some content marketing and you, you, you do search engine optimization, the result should be more traffic to your site, more people finding you, and that should convert into leads, which will convert into patients or clients. Uh, so that's, that's what it's all about here. It's about not only your presence on the Internet, but it's about making that presence uh, turn into dollars. Uh, so that's important to know. So search engine optimization involves constant testing, experimenting, and improvement. So it's not a one-shot thing. It's actually an investment that you spend monthly to be able to continuously update and maintain and put new fresh content, and that's the only way to get you to rank higher uh, on a web page, uh, on, on a search uh, on Google, uh, really, because that's the, the main one. For that to happen, fresh content needs to happen right away. Okay, so we found that between three to six months when you start seeing results on when of the search engine work that has been done. Uh, and obviously, if you don't do it, you, you get lower and lower in ranking. Uh, so how usability, user experience, and contact affect search engine ranking? Uh, well, uh, easy to use, navigate, and understand is very important for search engines and the user. Provide direct, actionable information relevant for the query. So having a frequently asked questions with a lot of different questions that your clients answer, uh, would like answers to. A lot of us get questions all the time and we answer the same question all the time. Have that information on your web page because other people are not asking you, they're just searching for those answers. And if you have that on your website, guess what? You're going to rank higher because your search engines are going to find those exact words. For instance, uh, you know, you could put even information about your competition on your website because people search for your competition's name, you're going to come up as well. So there is other ways and different ways to do search engine optimization with the frequently asked questions and content marketing that makes the site a lot uh, and search engines find you a lot easier. I'm going to chime in there for one moment. Another example is, uh, let's say you're a dental office, and a lot of your patients, what they want to know is, let's say it's the price of something. They want to know how much it's going to be for a crown or to go in and get a, a wisdom tooth removed. So what they're doing is they're not searching for your specific office. They're searching for the cost associated with that procedure. So what we would recommend is actually incorporating that into part of your website. Uh, or a blog post or an article, talk about the cost. Talk about your costs, uh, not necessarily right away, but talk about industry costs and industry related. <laughs> incorporate that into your website because that's going to push on and increase your searches when something are, someone is searching, a potential patient is searching for those procedures. Right, so they, 
usually they just want a rough estimate, and that's all you, sh you need to put in there. But at least you're mentioning price. You're mentioning the procedure. And if somebody puts both those words in that search, you're going to come up first. Um, thanks, Kevin. So content matters. I mean, I think we drove that. So all the positive attention and excitement around content offered by the new site translate into a, a machine parsable uh, collections of links, basically. So think of it this way. Look at the graph that we have, the, the little uh, uh, picture that we have here. Uh, this lady found something that's cool. She said, that's cool. I'll show that to Mike. Mike shows it. He goes, I'm going to blog about it. So many people read his blog. It becomes awesome. And, and then search engine says, oh, look at all these people reading that blog. It must be good. I'm going to rank them higher. Versus she came to your content. She didn't like it. She didn't do anything about it. And then you're dead in the water. So content and content marketing is key. It's important to know that. And it's important to know that having the right content and the fresh content that's con that monthly that, that is updated monthly improves your ranking quite a bit. Uh, so measuring and tracking success. So this is what we have to do. But how do we know that you uh, that what we're doing is working? So they say that if you can measure it, you can manage it. In search engine optimization, measurement is critical to success to properly manage your site and its success. So we put a new blog post, you see if that makes a difference. You see if other people have found you. We use the words. We look at the keywords, and we look at your competition and where they stand. And we try to, we, we basically, that's why it's a, it's a, it's basically a daily work onto your site, spending hours to make sure that we get you to rank higher. It's a fight against other people, but the people that are doing it are going to win. Now, people are that are just using keywords and hoping that somebody finds them directly uh, are not going to be uh, ranked higher. So professional SEO tracks data uh, about ranking, referrals, back to you saying, you know, I called you, so now you get a, a business out of them, links and more to help analyze your SEO strategy and create a roadmap for success. And that's how, that's why we say it takes three to six months for you to see a real result because we keep tweaking with the words we keep tweaking with the content that is built. Uh, so search engine optimization, as we talked about, so every day people search Google for the products and services that you offer. Real SEO, is that what we call real SEO, it leads, you, it leads them to you. So we try to rank you higher and make your website visible to people who are looking for a business like yours. So SEO involve, involves ongoing updates to your website and persistent content marketing. So content market is critical. Parts of SEO, uh, it's a, the main critical part of SEO because it builds your online brand. It earns links and boosts your website authority. So SEO has the best long-term return of investment of any marketing dollars you're going to spend uh, because you, you do not have to pay per click for natural searches. Uh, this doesn't mean SEO is free. A dynamic real SEO program is needed to earn and maintain uh, page one ranking. Without fresh content, you're not going to be on the on the first page. That's that's really the end. that's really it. So what real SEO for us is what we call real SEO. We we deemed it that one is to research. We identify facts and information about your business, keywords and themes that attract people looking for your products and services. We do an E is the end user value. We design a meaningful content, including articles, blogs, visual assets, videos if needed, to be genuine interest for your clients and potential clients. We, we analyze, analysis, we track, fine tune, and optimize whatever campaign we're going to run to make sure that it reaches your clients, potential, uh, our potential clients, and the search engines. Not only do we want to reach the people, but search engines need to be happy with the content that we're putting there as well, because that's the only way you're going to rank. And then the last is launch. Once we've analyzed all this, we've researched, we, we did an end user value, and we analyzed, we launched, we distributed the content to the right people and places. We engage people across the web. We earn links to your web page so that the more links, the higher you get ranked, and we improve your search ranking. That's why it's a process. That's why it takes time for you to see results. It's because there is so much work that needs to be done to get your content right, to get your, your, uh, to get your rank right, and to get your search, the search engine to view you. Plus search engines, as we said in the beginning, query everything down, download that to their servers, 
and they do that regularly, but there's still billions of web pages out there. So they're usually two to three months out. So as we make changes, uh, it takes a while for us to see the results of those changes. Other features in our SEO, in the real SEO, are targeted keywords. Find the most productive keywords for your SEO campaign. Articles that will need to be written. Videos, press releases, business quotes by uh, please uh, place your quotes in an industry-related timely news story. The more stories, the more quotes, the more referrals uh, that people are that you're putting on your web page, the more people are going to find you, and the more search engine will like you. Content marketing, we talked about that quite a bit. Uh, article syndication, places article on industry-related websites, other websites that will link back to you. Uh, social media postings, your Facebook page, your uh, Twitter account, your LinkedIn page, all that needs to push back to your site. When they push back to your site, search engine finds you easier and you get ranked higher. On-site blogs, you know, add fresh, engaging content to your web page, new blogs. Uh, you could write them. We write them for you as well. We have content writers. So that's the whole idea here. The idea is to put as much content for search engines to be able to find you easier. If you make the search engine job easier, they'll rank you higher, and it'll also whatever words people are coming up with, because there's no longer one specific keyword. I'm not looking for a dentist anymore. I'm looking for the best dentist that will do a specific um, procedure in a specific area, and people write long sentences in the, in the search in the search uh, bar. So all that search uh, the search engine looks at all these words and try to find all these words within your site. So that's why content is important. And obviously, uh, on-site optimization. So optimizing your web page for target keyword density, title tag, internet linking, uh, rich snippet markup include uh, commendations uh, for overall web design. Other features is website copy edit, conversion optimization, schema.org, which implements schema.org markups, which allows us to look at your site and see what, uh, how we can improve it and how you can you compare against your competition. We provide you reporting to see to show you how you're improving on a monthly basis. And we could also provide a phone number so when people call from your site, you could see how many calls came directly from your site. Because people may not go fill out a form. They may want to just um, call you. Well, how many people called you because they did a search? So that means SEO is working for you. We can provide a phone number that will let you know how many calls came through your site. Uh, so pay-per-click, we talked. Uh, Kevin talked about that a little bit, but basically, it's a you could pay Google money on specific words, and Google will have you on the side or the top of their search results. Uh, it works fast, so you, the campaign can be launched the same way, the same day. Before we go to the pay-per-click, however, we recommend we optimize your site, get everything else working, and then decide if pay-per-click will work well for you. And Julina can get into that and, and, and talk to us about, about that. When she shows us the demo and she shows us what the portal looks like, we're going to show an example of results that uh, we've done for, uh, for people. Uh, so campaigns can be targeted to precise uh, geographic areas. Let's say you, know, you only do business in western New York or in Amherst. I want people in Amherst only to see those results. Um, retargeting campaigns show highly targeted ads uh, to people who have visited your site. So if somebody visited your site, the next time they do a search, your site will be an ad on, uh, on Google, even if they're searching for something else altogether. But they, Google knows that they've looked for you before, so now your site will be an ad. Uh, so pay-per-click can be very beneficial, uh, but it's important to really have a well-optimized site before we start spending money when it comes to pay-per-click. Uh, other pay-per-click features is, you know, an opportunity evaluation. We evaluate your product, service, website, goals, and your competi competitors online uh, with their activities. If we conclude that pay-per-click can meet your goals, then we recommend a plan of action. So that's what I've been saying. It's not, let's not jump in uh, and pay-per-click right away. There's a lot more work to be done before that, uh, that's important. Uh, you know, the conversion goals, we help you identify your goals so we can export uh, we can report your exact return on investment. So the goal is I want to get 10 leads a week or 10 leads a month from my web page. Well, 
uh, great. So how are we going to get that done? Are we getting those leads? How many, how many searches are on those keywords? Is it, uh, is it a right number? Is it higher? You should expect more leads. Is it lower? All that is done through uh, and the SEO program, the real SEO program. Um, you know, you got to control budgets because if you do pay per click, Google charges you for every time that somebody clicked on that word. It doesn't, they don't even have to, uh, you know, they have to land on your web page. They can get out, get away right away, but then you get charged. So it's important to know what budget you have to work with, uh, how much you want to spend because SEO varies. You could do a little bit and you could do a lot. Um, so that's some some stuff that we'll talk about in in, in detail. Obviously, uh, targeted searches, controlled ad exposure, targeted keywords, creative ad copy, and fast and flexible ads are important to, to understand when you're doing a pay-per-click uh, campaign. So this is where the pay-per-click would be. Uh, this is when you do searches. This is where your ad would be if you're doing pay-per-click. So also, our system will allow you to see the sales leads coming from your web page. So we measure the return on investment in SEO and other marketing campaigns. We track phone calls and online form submissions in real time. We visually analyze geographic uh, origin of the phone call and web leads so you can see who, where they're calling you from. The visual lead detail associated with each uh, lead marker, if you will. So you can click on any of those and see that information. We'll get into the portal. But then you, from a campaign, uh, SEO, pay-per-click, email campaign, whatever it may be, whatever marketing you're doing, automatically identify and add leads to the lead summary. We track individual leads by name, phone number, time of call, and website URL that they came from. So we we could take that information and, and do a better job from an SEO. You can take that information and have a lead to call on and get those people to buy your services or your products. Uh, other marketing services overall is e email marketing. has nothing to do with SEO, but it does drive traffic to your web page. Uh, features and benefits of email marketing are huge. Obviously, uh, strategic, consistent message is called what we call a drip campaign that you would be doing uh, that will keep your name and your brand in front of the people that were one time interested in your services. Eventually, they'll buy from it. Uh, they'll buy from you. Um, and they won't forget you when the need arrives. But this is additional marketing services that you should consider besides SEO. But the first thing you should start with before, before doing any marketing is that your web presence and, and the search engines need to be able to, to be good for the end users and search engines need to be able to find you easy. And for that to happen, you need to have an aggressive SEO campaign with great content marketing uh, added to it. Um, so return on investment is measured. Uh, so how much is a lead worth? What is the lifetime value of your customer? What is your conversion rate? So SEO is a long-term investment. So an example of a business that spends 3000 a month on SEO has a client that are, has clients that are, that are worth 2000 a month for them. Now, these numbers are, you know, uh, you know, SEO doesn't cost that much, that, much, that much money, but it could. It all depends on how much pay-per-click, how much investment you're willing to do into it. And we can get into the details of that. Uh, but most importantly, we want to show you what, uh, what it looks like, uh, what a campaign looks like, what the analysis looks like. So we, before we could tell you what will work for you, we got to do an analysis of your presence now. Um, so to do that analysis, we take your domain and we, we will show you some detail on what that analysis looks like now. So I'm going to have Angelina uh, unmute and start speaking and take control and share her screen so we could start that demo. All right. Thank you so much, Igram. Can everybody, well, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, perfect. So I am going to share my screen. All right, does everybody see the dashboard? Can, we, can you see the dashboard, Igram? Yes. All right. So. Ikram was talking about the um, competitive analysis. So what we would do first is take, well, first of all, we're going to use um, MVP Works site as the example just to make sure that, you know, we keep the privacy of our other accounts. Um, you know, we need to want to make sure that 
we're showing anything that we have their permission, so we feel it would be best just to show our personal one. Um, the website has been recently changed and updated, so we started SEO over the last, oh, I think like 30 to 60 days. So a lot of this is uh, fresh data. So if you just bear with us and just envision your own website being in here, this is where you can access um, analytics, uh, your report, your keywords. And, you know, this is Jamie. I don't mean to interrupt you, but uh, I'm seeing a black screen. I'm not sure if everybody else is or not. I don't see anything on my screen. I, I see it on mine. Um, anybody can can any, can everybody see the screen or no? Uh, here at Ginsler, we can. Okay. Okay, mine just see mine. I'll check it out. Thanks. Okay. No, actually, Buffalo Filter. We I can't see it either. This is Kim Addison. Thanks, Kim. So you can't see it either, but Stephen, you can see it. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, with the with the MVP Works Digital Marketing Reports. That's right. Yep. Okay. So. All right, so if anybody sure. can't see the screen, I mean, the, this is being recorded. You'll be able to see it. Um, you know, it is shared, and I can see it, and uh, other people can. So uh, you'll have to go back and, and look at the recording. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm going to put in, what we do is we will initially start with an analysis because we want to see how your website compares to other ones and where, if, where and if you are ranking organically, what your domain authority is, which domain authority is basically the free cred that Google gives you um, comparing to other websites. Um, that number ranges from 0 to 100, 100 being websites like Google, Amazon, but ones that are, um, you know, especially for like small local businesses, you know, 20, 30 is really good, 40s and plus are excellent. Um, you will also see information in here for MozRank, and MozRank is the link popularity. So when we put, uh, when we build content to and syndicate it on the web with your articles, your featured news, um, your press releases, your business quotes, when those link back to your site, if the link has um, a high score, like the quality of the page that it's coming from, the mod rank will increase, and that's the number between 1 to 10, and 5, 6 is really good. And then let's see, I'm going to put in a couple of our competitors so I can show you exactly what you we missed, would show you. You, you missed a as... zero, Angelina, you missed a zero on Advanced oh. 2000. All right, let me get that. Sorry, I'm thinking. I just need just a moment. Okay. So monthly traffic value is a number that you can use to compare your sites to others when it comes to what the organic traffic is that's coming to your site. If you were to buy that traffic from Google, that's what we're getting organically. And then you can see here, never mind the scatter plot. Um, we don't really pay too much attention to this. What the most important is this monthly traffic value. And then that also things like, um, say you're an injury attorney in Buffalo. So the value of that keyword would be significant. So that value would be contributed to the monthly traffic value. Um, I hope that that's making sense. Uh, then top organic keyword rankings. This shows you where we're currently ranking. And what we can do is actually see a full keyword analysis and where we're ranking amongst the competitors that we've put in here. So, this is, so 1 to 10 is the first page of Google. Position 1 being top position on the first page. And then 19, or I'm sorry, 11 to 19 is page 2. Um, and then like 20 to 29 page 3. And then usually people don't search any further than page 3. Uh, so our goal is to move you if you're not if you're a not ranking at all for a keyword. Like here you see um, under comp one, comp two, um, there's nothing here, meaning that the competitors are not ranking for a district, central society. Um, let's 
the uh, Buffalo Heart Group, we're ranking number 10 for that. Oh, the searches right here are searches per month. CTC is cost per click, so that's how much it would cost if you were to buy it uh, for pay-per-click advertising. And then you can see the X's and the greens, greens being what we're ranking on, X's are ones that we're not. Um, this particular analysis provides up to 62 entries, so we can go in and see, okay, these are ones, um, ones where we're ranking with them. And if there are other keywords that you would like to focus on, um, such as, uh, let's see, information technology services company in Buffalo, you know, we can build content around that keyword and optimize the website um, and a web page to include that target keyword and then in hopes to help get you to rank on that target. So think think of it that way. It's not only I mean we're 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 using our web page as an example, but think about your industry, think about your content, and think about the keywords that you think most people are searching for. With a tool like this, we're able to get you that information. We're able to guide you through it, and we're able to show you uh, if that if those keywords are right, uh, if we should uh, look at different things. So because like we said, if you can't measure it and monitor it, you really can't manage it, and that's how you you should you have to do it. You have to think of yourself like there. When it comes to SEO, there are different um, categories. One, you have organic search. So think of it as you have a visitor coming to Google that has no idea that you exist, and they're typing in like say they're hungry. It's dinner time. Okay, I'm looking for uh, pizza in Buffalo, New York. And then you want to be able to rank if you're a pizza shop um, in first position for Buffalo, New York, or at least on the first page. And sometimes, you know, if you were Googling for that, you'll have big competitors like, you know, these huge franchises, Pizza Hut, uh, Papa John's, Little Caesars, but then you also have maybe the smaller local ones. Well, if you are continuing to do SEO, especially over time, and build up these links that you see over here, and they're high-quality links coming from good websites with a higher domain authority, um, that will increase your domain authority, that will increase your mod rank, your numbers of links will increase, and root to root means individual websites that the links are coming from. So that is the research part. Uh, we can also go to your website and do an analysis. We want to make sure that whatever keywords that you are looking to rank on, um, a that they're not extremely competitive. Uh, for example, you know we were talking about like if you are going, if you're a pizza shop and you're going to rank above, you know Papa John's and Little Caesars. So we might have to go for longer tail keywords. So instead of like pizza Buffalo New York, like pizza shop in Buffalo New York, and that longer tail keyword will also help the shorter keyword to rank. But we're really focusing on building the content around the longer tail. Um, so I'm going to go, to, oh, we want to make sure that you also have a page um, that is specific to each keyword. You don't want to laundry list keywords in your title tags um, or in your header tags. And what I mean by the title tags and header tags are like you saw where it says search report, that would be considered a title tag. Um, and then on a website, as far as like the, the structure of it, we'll make sure that your header tag is good. Your, um, your meta tags, your title tags, and also your website copy and your URL structure. So those are different components that the crawlers look at uh, when they're looking to index your, your pages. So I'm going to go to the SEO tab because MVP work, we are focusing primarily right now on SEO. And if you are running a PPC campaign, we will have PPC data in here. Um, but I'll get into more information on that in just a little bit. Yeah, just PPC, PPC is a pay-per-click, just to make sure everybody's on the same page. Right. And pay-per-click can also mean more than just Google. I mean, you can also do pay-per-click advertising on Facebook, for example. Um, so we'll get to that in just a moment. So here is a snapshot of the campaign. Like I said, um, because the site has been relaunched and it's, and it's new, we started SEO on it. Um, and the first uh, set of data that we have is from June 30th. So because this is a fairly, a fairly new campaign, these right here are tracking daily um, as far as the organic visits to the site. 
And then if you scroll over, it'll show you how many organic visits you're getting. And as you are coming up in the search results, um, you're, increased, you're improving your rankings. These numbers should increase. And what's going to happen after like one, two, three months, these are actually going to combine and just show you on a monthly basis so you can literally compare month to year or month to month. And then once you get a full year in, it'll just do uh, year over year. And so you can also see uh, where you're at with monitoring. I said that you know five, six is good. Domain authority, 20 or greater is great. They have, um, we have a significant amount of external links um, and coming from right now 41 sites. And right here is a snapshot of where we're at for our target keyword rankings. Um, to be quite honest, to be ranking for cloud computing Buffalo in position seven in such a short amount of time is pretty darn good. Uh, what we can do too is check on where we started with the rank. Um, so when you click on this graph here with your keyword, you can see when we started the campaign July 1st, position 81, you know, it's gone up, gone down, and right now we're at 79. Um, there has been several Google algorithm updates, and a lot of it has to do with, um, with content quality. Um, we have, in the last couple of months, been building out pages, so that's also another reason why these, um, you can see some of these are ranking on page two and page three. But within time, because we built out pages for these specific keywords, Google is going to recognize that, and they're going to basically reward them. And so here we can show you as far as like the on-site content that we've created. You can then read them by clicking on these links. You can see we have targets and interest keywords. So target keywords are the keywords that we're really focusing on, and then interest ones are one that we're monitoring. Um, so say that one keyword is a lot more competitive than the next, but they're very similar. We'd want to take the least competitive keyword, let's say like the low-hanging fruit, um, and try to optimize for that one, build content around that one to help remove those interest keywords. And then after, usually about like 30 to 60 days, um, we're, we're monitoring these, uh, usually on a bi-weekly basis. And after 30 days, the red flag goes up if something hasn't come in from the 999 that we'll go in and we'll do another analysis and see if there's um, something missing uh, that could help that keyword to rank. So usually, you're a month behind because the very first month usually focuses on doing the on-site analysis and report and implementation. So we have a team of analysts that will go in and dissect your website, let you know if we need to build out content, um, and then we will make edits to the site. And then after that, we need to give Google the time to go through and index any of the new pages that might be there and also to recall recrawl the site. So a lot of times, like for example here, when an on-site report is implemented, you'll see this downward slide, like going from position 106 down to position 9 at a, like a really quick pace. I mean, and that's what it's all about, right? We want to be at the highest position, which is the lowest number. So you see we were third page in, became first page up. Correct. And here we have a syndication tab. You can see how many pieces have been syndicated on a daily basis. We also have workflow. So you can see with this one, we have built, we built out several pages. Um, but the Tech 300 on-site content is. And then we have, we can filter it scheduled and completed for the month. And then after the month uh, ends, a new round of tasks will be generated. And these tasks go through our, um, our web team, our dev team, um, you know, myself as, as uh, the project manager, um, our writers. So we do have this, we do have an entire team here that helps us take care of you. So because this is a fairly new campaign, it was re we recently implemented the on-site report, and that also includes adding in phone tracking and web lead forms. Um, normally you will see uh, little pin drops here for calls and emails. Leads will come in here. 
if they're web leads, you'll see a list of phone calls. You can have um, different tracking phone numbers set up. And we just do this by going in here and adding in phone numbers and a, and a script on the site, and we can easily turn the script on and off. Say if you want to track your, your phone calls, great. If you want to stop, it's as easy as switching on and off. Um, let's see, then you have your you have your admin button here, which will show you um, you know what category your articles that for the site, what sites the articles are going to be going in on, um, whether they're going to be receiving a monthly report. Um, here is the list of keywords and where we map them to because we want to make sure that when we create content and syndicate it out on the web, that whatever the anchor text is is linking to the right page um, on the website, just to you know that helps with the quality of the user experience and the relevancy. Um, we have research facts. So we have an entire research department that goes in and finds um, interesting statistic-based facts that we can include in the content. And this is very important because we do put it in on-site and off-site, and our, our writers typically take you know, two to three pieces of these facts, integrate them with the keywords, and then there's also very specific writer's instructions. So if you guys have um, particular competitors that you don't want us to refer to or particular things that you want us to focus on in the content, we can also create an editorial calendar. Um, all of that goes into the writer's instructions. And that is basically it for the dashboard. Um, Paperclick, we also ha we had an entire team of CQC analysts that are AdWords certified, um, very experienced in a variety of markets, and they'll do an analysis to see, okay, well, what's your, what's your goal for your budget? Um, when do you want your ads to run? Uh, you know, say you're well, a pizza shop, let's just use that as an example. And I'm a mother. You know, if I'm thinking about dinner, maybe around 3, 4 o'clock, I'm searching on my phone the best pizza place in, in Buffalo, and um, a pay-per-click ad shows up with this awesome-looking pizza that has, like, all these veggies on it, and it's like, oh, that's great. I'll click on it. And then that will also um, be trackable, so we can put phone numbers on that, email addresses. If I wanted to order right there on my phone, I could do it. Um, we can get really, really creative with it. So that's that. Uh, PPC in a nutshell. Typically, what we what we would suggest if you are looking for more of an immediate, um, not necessarily return, but if you're looking for leads immediately, we would recommend that you supplement your SEO campaign with PPC because SEO is a long-term investment. Like I said before, you're usually about a month behind. So if you want to see those leads quicker, then you would want to start a PPC campaign while we're continuing to optimize your website and build the content and syndicate the content out. So All right. that's it in a nutshell. Um, if you guys have any questions, then you can feel free to send us an email and we'll make sure to get out some answers. Yes, thanks, Benjamin. You're welcome. Uh, I'm okay, going to share so now. Okay. No, got it. I'm going to. Sh uh, so the bottom line is really SEO is just not nice to have. In today's world, it's a must have. Uh, but for us to tell you what SEO program and what to do for SEO and how it will work for your specific uh, domain and web page and presence, we need to do an analysis of that. Uh, so we need to basically. Uh, what Angelina did in the beginning, take our, your domain name, maybe different competitors that you know you compete with regularly, and we see how, what they're using, what you're using. So the first step uh, of the analysis is free. It's usually not free, but we're offering it free at no cost or obligation. We'll send you a questionnaire to answer that will help us get that information and will give us enough info to perform a free domain evaluation of your website ranking, health against your competition's web presence, usually a $500 value that we're offering it for free. But because it does cost time and money, uh, we're only offering it for five people. So three things you need to know. We can only work with five people because it, cost, uh, it does cost us about three to four hours per domain. So, um, you know, it's, 
and time is time is valuable. So we're going to offer to offer it free for five people. There's absolutely no obligation to buy anything else. We could just give you that report, and you'll be able to get at least information about your web page, where you stand, where your ranking is, certain keywords that you or your competition are using, like Angelina showed us. And this is by application only. We want to make sure that we actually can help you before we book this consultation. So the questionnaire allows us to make sure that uh, you know we're we're on the right track with you. Um, so what you need. So what you need to do now, if you're interested, is just let us know that you're interested. Wait, we'll contact you, and we'll take the first uh, five on a first-come, first-served basis for the free consultation. Obviously, sorry, no exception, just because of the, uh, the amount of time it takes us to get things done. We will do it for you uh, after the first five if you need us to, obviously, uh, but that will, will, will be for a fee. I hope you guys found it interesting. Everyone has my email address, so if they just want to email me um, directly. If they're interested, they can. give them your email address, Jim. It's J Stewart, so J S T E W A R T at MVPWorks.com. Or info at MVPWorks.com as well will work. Um, so uh, that's it. I hope you guys learned a little bit about SEO. It takes a lot to get SEO to actually work and to get you ranked. It's not a magic formula, it's a relentless new content. New, uh, uh, cap new content and, and new blogs and new links and, and looking at the search engines and reanalyzing it every month and really doing some work to allow you to rank higher. And that's why it's a monthly investment. That's why it takes time. And that's why we built that dashboard to be able to show you the results of the work that's been happening, to be able to show you going up, be able to show you being ranked higher on certain keywords. And at the end of the day, you need to convert those touches into dollars, into clients, into patients. Uh, and that's, that's, the, that's the whole idea here, is to not only get the traffic to your page, but to be able to convert them. And if, you have a, if you're doing all the right things for SEO, but your website is not good enough, people are going to come to it, then they're going to bounce away. You're never going to be able to convert them. So it's, a, it's an overall look at not only your web page and the way that it functions and the way that the, the words are on there, but blogs and social media, and I can go on and on. But everything that we discussed today, I hope you guys found it interesting. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, we still got three minutes, so I'll open it up for everybody. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you find it interesting, and uh, we'll see you in a, in two months, our next webinar. And uh, looking forward to uh, uh, to talking to all of you soon. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank you.